Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a full face of my favorite products from 2020. So these are not necessarily products that launched this year, but these are products that I have been reaching for a lot this year. Every time I go through my collection, I'm just like, oh, I want to use that. So I thought I would just do a full face. And there's obviously like for, for primer, for example, I have different examples of products that I love. So some categories are not just like specifically one product. But anyways, I don't know if you guys can hear, but I am coming down with a little bit of a cough. I feel fine my throat's just hurting a bit and I have got a like blocked nose and stuff like that but I wanted to go ahead and get this video done just in case this is my last video of 2020 because I'm on day two of being sick and I don't know if it's gonna get worse from here so I'm just planning to do this video and then take like a week or two to just rest rest my body rest my mind just take Christmas and New Year's off um so yeah let's just go ahead and jump into this video I'm gonna start with skincare because I've washed my face but I haven't actually done any skincare yet and also brows we're literally doing a full face so first of all i have been loving the paulish choice toner this is the advanced replenishing toner this is perfect to use straight after washing your face it just takes away that tight dry dehydrated feeling it's just beautiful it's a lovely toner and i'm like halfway through it and i've only had it for like two months but i absolutely love this don't know if you guys can see like the milky texture of it but it's like really nice and hydrating the serum that has been standing out to me this year has been the kate somerville delicate recovery serum this is very pricey but honestly this serum is so soothing nice and hydrating once again it has that kind of milky texture if you have dry skin or dehydrated skin you would absolutely love this this is just such an easy serum to use during the day in the nighttime i do go for more actives like retinol or glycolic acid now for cream i have gone through this is my second tube of it and it is empty as you guys can see it's got a tiny bit left in it so i'm going to use it today this is the bano baggy i don't know how to say that name but um that one it's the milk thistle repair cream and this feels amazing this is so nice but still lightweight but very moisturizing i like moisturizing creams that are not too heavy it's just a beautiful cream so those are my skincare recommendations i do have two more creams that i wanted to mention to you guys so the first one is the dear claire's midnight blue calming cream this is amazing if you have irritated skin sensitive skin you know skin that just kind of gets rashes or irritation bumps anything like that or if you've overused your acids and your skin's reacting bad this is the perfect calming cream another cream that i absolutely love is the elemis what is this called pro collagen marine cream spf 30 so it is sun protection but it's so lightweight it's almost like a watery cream this is my go-to school run cream i throw this on every morning when i drop the kids to school because it gives me protection it gives me moisture jar and it's just easy i just throw this on and go out the door so we're gonna go ahead and move on to brows of course benefit as always on my brows i have been their brow hero for the last half of 2020 which is amazing but i've been using their products for years now and um, i recently switched over to pencil before i used to use their uh, cabrow which is like the brow pomade but i've just been finding the goof proof pencil like really quick and easy to use so i've just been using this a lot lately along with the micro filling brow pen so what i do is start on underneath the brow and outline the shape and then I go on top and outline the top and then I fill out the tail so do you guys see how quick that is like super easy the beginning of my brow I save for the micro filling pen and then at this stage I actually go ahead and clean up underneath the brow with concealer and then I take whatever's left on the brush and clean up on top as well and then once the brows are looking like that, I'm gonna take the micro filling pen in the shade Deep Brown and I take it like vertically and just make brow strokes going up at the beginning of the brow. And then once I've got the shape, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of concealer and just dab that in between, well, through the brow to create little brow gaps because I don't want a solid brow. I want it to have little gaps so it kind of looks like brow hairs. So all of my primers basically do the same thing, which is blur my pores, because I do have quite large pores. So Fasali Skin Tomb Blur, absolutely love, absolute favorite for blurring my pores. However, there are drugstore dupes. So e.l.f. has one, which is called the Blurring Primer Serum. Absolutely amazing, does the same thing. Barry M Skin Blurring Beauty Elixir does the same thing. It feels like exactly the same formula. I have used these two recently on my channel, so I'm gonna go in with Fasali today. They're all this kind of white liquid that just 
just dries down and blurs your pores beautifully. They're not slippery and silicone-y. They're really unique formulations. Oh, another favorite is the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer. This does the exact same thing as well. It's like a clear white liquid. And then as you blend it in, it just blurs your pores. Not silicone-y, feels almost like a moisturizer cream, but it just kind of really makes your skin nice and smooth. Now for foundation, there's been two that has absolutely stood out to me this year. I change my foundations nearly every day. I make sure to rotate like through my foundation so I don't just use one for a solid month or anything like that. But these two I have constantly been using. Like I, every time I open my foundation drawer, I just wanna reach for these and I have to convince myself to use something else. First of all, Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This is amazing. It's like a medium buildable coverage, dries down matte. I absolutely love how long lasting this is on my skin. I use the shade Latte 24 and I just really love this for every day. Like this is my everyday foundation. It's not super, super full coverage, but it gives me enough coverage that I feel good. And then of course, this one's kind of new in my collection, but I have been reaching for this a lot as well. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Such full coverage, beautiful, but lightweight. It dries down matte. This is my favorite NARS foundation for my skin type. If you have dry skin, of course, go for one of NARS's other foundations, but if you're oily skin, this is for you. The only tip is because it is so, so full coverage, don't go overboard because it can become cakey real quick. Start with a light layer and that should be enough. So what I'm actually gonna do today is mix them. I've never actually done that before, but I love both formulations, so why not? Never mixed them before, so I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but I know the coverage is gonna gonna be banging. I would repurchase both of these in a heartbeat. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to eyes. I have a few palettes that I wanted to mention. Now these are, it was hard for me to pick my favorite palettes of the year because I try different palettes nearly every single day. I think it goes without saying that my palette that I launched with Revolution this year has been my absolute favorite. Tropical Twilight has been my go-to for neutral, colorful looks, everyday looks. Everything I ever want to do is in this palette. However, there has been a few other palettes in my collection that when I use them I just couldn't wait to go back and use them again and that's very rare. I feel like my attention span when it comes to eyeshadow palettes is really short. It's like I love shiny new things so as soon as a new palette comes out I'm like oh that's nice. Oh I want to try that. Oh I can't wait to get that. That type of vibe. So for me to use an eyeshadow palette and want to go back and use it again that then you know it's special. They're all quite recent palettes as well. So the first one of course Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. This palette stood out to me so much this year you guys know I'm a fan of purple eyeshadow I'm a fan of blue eyeshadow and the quality in here is absolutely insane the shimmers are shimmer shimmer they're like proper foiled reflective wet looking shimmers they're beautiful the mattes blend pigmented they're such honestly this formula I could not get enough Beauty Bay have absolutely smashed it this year in terms of this palette I haven't tried the other one yet the Sunset Horizon but if the formula is just like the one in here I'm expecting to love it however this this shade selection just blew me away like I absolutely love that they've picked deep dark mattes and then they've even put sh like mattes to blend it out with another palette that I just couldn't wait to get back into was the Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette I didn't expect to love this palette as much as I did but the formulation in here the shade selection in here it is just another beautiful bluish greenish palette but obviously in here you do get a bit more with the pinks and the silvers I'm still not a huge fan of the background of the eyeshadows but because of the quality in here I can definitely overlook it the shades are beautiful you can create some amazing looks with this palette this definitely stood out to me this year and I couldn't wait to get back into it and use it again and the last palette that really stood out to me this year was the made by Mitchell head in the clouds palette so this palette I didn't expect to love it as much as I do because it is so chaotic just like the Juvia's Place Wahala but once you get past the layout of the eyeshadows the actual quality in here is amazing the shimmers are so pigmented and foiled really nice formula the mattes melt into one another like they take no effort to blend at all and yeah I just absolutely loved playing with this palette and even till now I still feel like there's so many looks that I can do so what I think I'm gonna do is play with these two together so my palette and the Mitchell palette and we can see what we can come up with so I'm just gonna prime with my P Louise eyeshadow base I think I might do something blue and silver just to celebrate like winter <laughs> So the first shade I'm going to start with is Nightfall in my palette, which is the dark matte blue. And this I'm literally going to take on the outer V. 
So I'm just stamping that through the crease and out of the, and you guys can see the pigmentation on that. Now I'm gonna dip into the Mitchell palette and I'm gonna take the shade Cockpit, which is this kind of turquoise. And I'm gonna use this on the edge of the blue in the crease. And I think on the edge of that to kind of brighten it up a bit, I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Lucid, which is that kind of lilac pink. And I'm gonna put this on the edge of the blue to make it nice and pale up there zero effort required gonna go back into nightfall in my palette and just deepen that crease again okay so i'm gonna take the shade twinkle which is this shade here i have no idea if i've used it already but i'm just gonna tap that on the center kind of near the outer v I think I have used this shade already but I don't care it's such a beautiful color and then I'm also going to dip into the shade clouded which is this silver white and this is going to go on the first half of the eye okay now taking a little bit of starlight in my palette which is the silver glitter I'm just going to literally dab that all over the lid just cleaning up the edge of the eyeshadow and that is the final look guys I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and then I'll come back to you so we can do the rest of the face okay so the other eye is done let's go ahead and move on to concealer my favorite one of my favorite steps in my makeup routine so my top favorites you guys already know what it is another year another Jouer concealer down <laughs> this one is nearly finished and I do have a backup I absolutely love this concealer so much it's in between a matte and a hydrating concealer I don't think it's one you dry skin girlies will love but oily skin will love this as well it's not too drying underneath the eyes but it definitely does have a matte finish another one that i absolutely love this would be perfect for all skin types is the pat mcgrath concealer this is so hydrating but very full coverage nice and creamy it does kind of self set itself but it's not a matte concealer in my opinion it's like a self setting but like really nice creamy formulation and then last but not least i absolutely love this hourglass vanish concealer as well it is a matte concealer compared to like Pat McGrath it is a little bit more drying underneath the eyes so this will be good if you have oily skin not one I would say if you have dry skin to reach for and then two drugstore favorites which I absolutely love of course elf camo concealer and revolution uh, conceal and define infinite concealer these are my go-to drugstore concealers so today I'm going to use the Pat McGrath in M17 I've just been reaching for this concealer every single day I love the coverage I love the formula I just absolutely love this concealer my PS S5 just got delivered guys and I cannot wait to go on it. I forgot to wet my sponge so I'm just going to go ahead and use my brush to blend that out. This is a real technique brush. Look at the coverage of this concealer. This is a little bit prickly. Yeah I'm going to need to switch this brush. Let's use this one. This is a tart brush. Okay so that is the concealer. I'm actually going to go in and cream contour today. So my favourite you guys might know already Huda Beauty Tan Tour. This is my go-to cream product. It blends in so effortless into the skin. It's just such an easy formula to work with. If you are into a cream bronzer self-setting melts into the face Huda Beauty is definitely the way to go. I'm going to quickly go ahead and set my under eye. So powder you guys know I have so many favourites but my standouts this year have been the Vichy Derma Blend Powder. This is such a finely milled, lightweight, translucent powder, but truly translucent. Like this doesn't give any type of color. It just sets and mattifies and blurs your face so well. I absolutely love this powder. Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder, classic, absolute favorite every single year. This is Banana Bread. I have gone through Banana Bread and Blondie. Like they're both, they both work for me, but I just love the blurring and smoothing effect that this powder has on my face and Maybelline Fit Me Powder of course this has such a beautiful blurring smoothing effect as well I think I'm going to use this one today I do also really love the Makeup Revolution Chocolate Banana Powder I forgot to take that out of my drawer so I thought I would just mention it here now but yeah this Maybelline Powder has honestly made my whole year it's so smoothing brightening lifting such a flawless powder honestly guys try this powder you will not be disappointed so in terms of all over the face powders there's been two that i have absolutely used non-stop this year so the, for the first half of the year it was the kvd powder foundation which looks like this as you can see i was going through this using it every single day but i did find something that's a little bit more lightweight i do still really 
love this powder and I'm gonna use it today actually but it just it's a little bit heavier than my new favorite which is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish so this gives a really flawless airbrush finish of course but it doesn't have as much coverage as say a powder foundation so it's really lightweight on the face and it just sets and mattifies and blurs without giving you much coverage so it kind of depends what you're looking for in a powder but I absolutely love both of these this has more coverage and this is more lightweight but they're both still mattifying blurring beautiful powders so I'm going to go in with the KVD one today because I haven't used it in a little while and I'm just going to use that to set the outside of my face I mean if you use a light dusting of it you're not going to get much coverage but I just love the way it like kind of sets down the outside of my face so it's not tacky or anything it's just really nice and smooth I think I used too much of the, <laughs> the beauty stuff up by my forehead which is annoying but hey ho I might try and dab over it with my foundation brush and brighten it up a little bit now my favorite bronzer for the year of course has been my paradise glow palette I have been using bronze goddess to death like it's got the biggest dip in it I use this every day days that I'm not filming days that I am filming I just have to stop myself reaching for this and remind myself that I do have other bronzers in my collection because this is my go-to color it's not too deep for me but it definitely adds a nice warmth to my skin tone of course I have everything I need in here I've got the blush the highlight the contour if I want to snatch my face a little bit it's just my go-to palette so I'm only going to take a little bit of bronze goddess today because I have of course the Huda Beauty uh, tan tour on so I'm just going to use this to kind of set that in place and intensify it a little bit and then exactly the same for blush because I tend to reach in here for bronzer I'll just reach into the blush as well because I have it in my hand already and just dust that on my cheeks I also of course really love the highlighter in here but there are some highlighters that have really stood out to me this year you might be able to guess it but the Kaleidos highlighters have really blown me away since I got them they're really nice interesting colors but they're not chalky or like crazy on my skin they have really nice they've given me the option of just not doing gold but having colors that don't look crazy on me my two favorites so far have definitely been the space age prophecy which is like a multi-chrome highlight it does look green in some lighting but then in others when the light is directly hitting it it looks like a warm orangey color so this is it here can you guys see that warm orangey tone but then as you turn it away from the light it turns green can you guys see it is insane and it doesn't look too crazy on my skin tone it doesn't have like a crazy if you don't use too much if you use too much you can definitely see the stripe of highlighter but if you diffuse it nicely into your skin you get this gorgeous warm glow and then it turns green green in some lightings it's just so beautiful similarly the mars melter is a really nice warm orangey reddish highlighter that i never thought i would ever be into but i am very into this color like can you guys see that almost pinkish warm reflect i'm gonna swatch that as well so that is mars melter there it's a gorgeous warm orangey pink type of color and these kaleidos highlighters they are a little bit glittery granted so if you don't like my micro micro glitters in your highlighters you're not gonna like this another formula that i've recently fallen in love with is actually the ColourPop suka su suka super shock highlighters so these are almost like a cream to powder type of formulation but they apply beautifully with a brush as well they glide onto the skin so nicely especially for being such a creamy product and the fact that i powder my face they glide on and mesh with my like foundation so well this is the shade manifest that which is almost like a goldish type of pink color and then last but not least another highlighter that i have literally been using so much this year is the doll beauty pretty little glow so this is their collaboration with pretty little thing and it's almost like a nars orgasm type of pinkish gold but it's definitely more of a highlighter than a blush but this tone is such a gorgeous rose gold and the reflection the formula on this highlighter is insane it's not texturizing it melts into the skin beautifully can you guys see that glow it's such a stunning formula and I really really love this color so today I'm going to use the color pop one and you guys will see just how beautiful this glides on this shade is a little bit icy it's going to go beautifully with my eye look but I do want to pick up like a golden version of this highlight because I love the formula but I just haven't found the perfect color to suit my skin tone okay so I'm going to move on to my lower lash line now but first of all these makeup obsession x tiffany pencils I have told you guys about this 
here so many times but I am obsessed I went ahead and got another set just in case I make my way through these set of five and they glide onto the waterline they're waterproof they last all day literally until I'm ready to take my makeup off at night they'll be there the whole day even if you get watery eyes these definitely stay on the waterline they're just such amazing quality I mean you do have to build them up a little bit it's not one one swipe and it's there it's more like a little bit of a build up but once it's there it's there to stay which I love so I'm gonna go in with the blue shade today and I've just found myself using this with every single look that I do I love the colors that is included in this set I do wish that the yellowy type of lime green shade was more of a true green because this yellowish tone doesn't show up nicely on the waterline but the other four colors in this set is outstanding so I'm going to take this shade in the Mitchell palette and use that to buff out my lower lash line the funny thing is you could literally achieve this look with the Beauty Bay palette as well, just minus the glitter. But if you have my palette, then you can of course just tap the glitter on top. And then on my inner corner, I'm gonna take the shade. Let's go in with the yellow gold, which is called Better Days, just for a pop of something different. Oh, that looks nice. Almost looks like a lime green okay so what is next oh i forgot to mention another favorite bronzer of mine that i cannot stop reaching for is the sleek bronzer this is the shade damn this has a little bit of like shimmer to it and it just melts onto the skin beautifully it really reminds me of the nars bronzer you know the nars one that has a little bit of sheen to it as well it doesn't show up as like a shimmer on your face but it just adds this nice kind of glow i don't know how to explain it but it's a really nice bronzer and i've been reaching for it a lot okay so before we move on to lashes let me talk to you guys about my two favorite mascaras they basically do the same thing i find that they are very similar to each other they have similar ones as well so first of all bad girl bang from benefit this made my whole year in terms of mascara before i was like mascara yeah who cares i wear lashes anyway but this ah uh, you know those everyday looks where you don't want to put on lashes you just can't be bothered but you want lashes you want to flutter lashes this gives you that the wand is so thin that it can get right to the root of your lashes and just like coat your whole lash literally the other day i tested this out and found that this does the exact same thing so this is the l'oreal telescopic mascara and this wand is even smaller than the benefit wand so this gets right to the lashes and it just coats your whole lash from root to tip and it kind of like combs through it so it separates the lashes beautifully as well this is beautiful these mascaras are definitely stand out for the year okay so for lashes i'm going to keep it nice and short and sweet when i'm not using dull beauty lashes i am using my lashes from my brand of course makeupbytammy.com the two styles from my brand that have stood out to me this year have definitely been summer and ava so summer are more lengthening and separated as you guys can see and then ava are a little bit shorter but definitely more thickening at the base of the lash as you guys can see it has all of the drama at the lash band and then it flares out beautifully on the edges so Ava have been another go-to of mine I'm going to use these today okay so let's go ahead and finish off with setting spray and lips by the way these are Ava lashes how beautiful but for setting spray there has been a clear standout winner this year and that has been the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray I ran through this bottle so fast this is perfect for oily skin this is perfect if you want your makeup to last all day with this you can almost feel it locking in your makeup as it dries down it does get a little bit if you use a lot of it it does get a little bit tight like it just feels like it's just hardening your face but if you use just a little spritz of it it definitely prolongs your wear it kind of makes your makeup not slip and slide and move throughout the day it's a beautiful long lasting setting spray if you want something to give your skin a nice boost if you maybe used a bit too much powder or you really like that glowy look the mac good old fashioned mac fix plus always does it for me if i go a bit overboard with the mattifying products or if i use too much powder this just brings my skin back to skin i can't say that it prolongs my makeup wear i haven't noticed it as much as the charlotte tilbury but this definitely gives my skin a nice boost a nice skin glow okay so moving on to lips this morphe lip liner has absolutely made my year i use it nearly every day if i'm not using this i'm using mac chestnut so these two have been my go-to oh i do love charlotte tilbury pillow talk intense as well but this has been the one that i've used the most which is the morphe one so i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips like look how it just glides on 
So for lipstick, there's actually two formulas that have stood out the most to me. NYX Suede Matte Lipstick. You guys know already this formula is amazing. It's like a comfortable matte. Similarly, the Juvia's Place lipsticks are very comfortable as well. Nice matte finish. They both go on really creamy, but as you wear them throughout the day, they have a nice comfortable matte feeling on the lips and they last really well. I think I'm gonna take the NYX one today. Actually, I might take the Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Lady. Oh, it's like a yellowy tone nude. Do you see how they just glide on so nicely? They feel amazing on the lips moisturizing but they feel like a cushion like they feel like nice and velvety now you guys know i absolutely love gloss as well my go-to's have been the nyx butter glosses beautiful formula they're like a sheer lip gloss but they're just really comfortable and moisturizing not thick and goopy and another favorite formula of mine is of course the revolution sheer lip gloss formula these are my two favorite colors that come in my lip set we have muse and gone rogue if i'm not using my fenty gloss bomb i'm definitely using all or the lime Crime Extra Popping Gloss. That's a really nice clear gloss as well. But these have been my go-to lip glosses and they're really nicely pigmented. They have beautiful shades. This is the shade Madeline, my go-to from this line. And then these two, just a little bit of it. It is a little bit pinky, but I'm just gonna use it to top this lip. And I think that is everything, guys. I did just wanna say a quick thank you for 200,000 subscribers. My goal was to hit it before the end of the year and I literally hit it yesterday, or was it the day before? I, I recently hit it anyway. Thank you guys for rocking with me, for subscribing, for supporting my channel in 2020. I hope you'll stick around and see what I have to offer for 2021. I just wanted to quickly round this video off with a couple random favorites, but I think you guys should definitely check them out. So first of all, jewelry, you guys know I always wear a necklace in my video one two three sometimes but these have been from a brand called Aurelia I think that's how you say it I found them from an Instagram ad and I'm so glad I did because they offer such beautiful jewelry for affordable prices I think this is 28 pounds you get three necklaces in here they're not connected so you can just kind of take one or two wear them together I've just absolutely fallen in love with this brand I did place an order with them and I got like quite a few pieces and then I mentioned them on my stories and they sent me a few more pieces which is so nice of them for me they're the best tarnish free affordable jewelry that I've found like you can get free necklaces that look like this for 28 pounds and they're tarnish free so definitely recommend checking them out and another favorite of mine that I discovered this year is Kayali this perfume brand is my spirit animal the smells they come up with are just me that's just what I love to wear I love Love to smell like this. this is my favorite this is deja vu white flower but i recently got a gift set with all four and my favorite in the gift set is vanilla oh my god gosh guys if you can pick up the gift set but i think it was sold out on feel unique when i looked but if you can get deja vu white flower or get vanilla you will absolutely fall in love with those scents the packaging is so cute as well they're a little bit more expensive but honestly it's so worth it because the scent lasts all day i hate when i spray a perfume in the morning and by the afternoon i'm like why why can't i smell it it just lingers all day and it's one of those smells that when you hug someone they're like oh when we used to hug people they would be like oh you smell nice do you know what i mean it's just such a beautiful perfume brand highly recommend i am fingers crossed planning to film another video before the end of the year but now that i've come down with this sickness i'm not sure if that's gonna go ahead i'm hoping i just get better from here and it doesn't go worse so yeah go ahead and give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to my channel and if i don't manage to see you before i will see you in 2021 bye